Okay, this is the Albatross. It's a glider. Uh, I would use it for competitions. I was holding off a little bit to show you all this, but because I was going to try to use this to break the world record for uh, hang time, but <laughs> I decided to go ahead and let you all see it because I got something better than this. <laughs> so, um, it is similar to uh, Sky King. But I found that this one's a little more consistent than Sky King is, and it's a little easier to balance. Um, I haven't broke the record officially with it yet, but it probably could. But I think I have something a little bit better than this, so I'll go ahead and let y'all let y'all fold it and see for yourselves. It's a good competition glider. You know, Red Bull Pepper Wings. Hopefully, it's just around the corner. And uh, maybe we'll see this being used. Um. It's a pretty simple model. It's not too difficult. And, uh, I just want to take a few minutes to talk to you about something. Um, you know, if you want to call yourself the best, uh, you can't just break one world record and then say you're the best. And say you're the only person who was designing high-performance airplanes when there's other world records out there you know that doesn't make any sense um, so it's a lot easier to take a thick heavy piece of paper and make an airplane that flies 200 feet than it is to make any origami airplane whatsoever because the the, the thickness of the paper uh, gives the plane a lot of inertia and it you know it reinforces the wings without having to actually design any uh, internal structures like all modern jets have everything you see has reinforced uh, wings and everything else but these planes here the simple planes here they don't need that they can just rely on um, the thickness of the paper so you don't have to worry too much about um, designing uh, reinforcing structures like like I have in my jets <clears throat> and uh, I want you know talk to you like so you know breaking the world record that's not the be all and all to airplane design there's a lot more out there than just breaking records and having high performance there's some people that think that they broke a record and they're the best ever was and that's not necessarily true like I said it's a lot easier to design something like this than it is to design any any jet from thin paper from a square sheet so you just can't say oh, my airplane can fly farther than yours or it can stay in the air longer than yours and I'm better than better than you you just can't say that because <clears throat> airplane design is a lot broad, more of a broad spectrum than that and there's a lot of people that just like to hide behind that um, now as far as the Sky King goes it's a good plane it's a good design uh, I've seen people use that in Red Bull Paper Wings and it works uh, that's a good design I respect Toda and I respect the Sky King. I have no problems with that whatsoever. I do not have any respect for Suzanne. I've seen people trying to use that during the Red Bull Paper Wings competition. And, of course, you can't use tape. So, without tape, it doesn't fly worth the crap. And I've seen people get negative scores with that. So, that, that I have no respect for that whatsoever. So, hopefully, uh, you know, people fold this plane and get the hang of it. And maybe I'll see it in competitions. Alrighty, just start with a sheet of uh, 100 GSM A4 paper. Start by folding it half.
So you wanted that fold to be perpendicular to this corner, and you wanted to line up with that back edge. <coughs> and you did the same thing on the other side. So just line that crease up with the edge behind it. So you open it out and you line up that edge with that crease there. <clears throat> it helps you do that too. Just fold that out. Make sure everything's lined up. Fold that back in. You want to crease that. This is what you're gonna do now. You flip that over, and you roll those creases back in. But you don't do it all the way. You just do it one fold. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up folding this in that, that fold is gonna go with that. So you repeat that to this side now. That crease right there gives the wings a lot of strength so you can throw it hard and it moves a lot of weight forward. kind of crease that over
fold this down from that point and that point. Make sure everything's lined up. you do this real quick just to get this crease right here the next step refold it see this is what I was talking about so when you're folding that in, it completes that roll. So when you do that, you're going to fold this down. At the same time, you're going to pop that out. And there's a line right, right there. You want this edge right here to line up on that line. And then you collapse it. That. You can do it that way, but actually the easiest way would be to fold this in first. So we want to fold this in underneath that little edge you made. And be careful not to trap that roll in there, just crease. Yes, yeah, so you want that on the outside like that. Fold this up. <clears throat> yeah. And then you just unfold it and fold it into the inside. Turn it over. And I would say probably about this much. Just fold it up. That's really going to make it easy to balance this plane. It's more of a judgment fold than anything. Unfold that. I'm gonna fold 
this point down to this intersection here. Hold that. <clears throat> I'm going to crease these diagonal folds right here. Be careful with this because it likes to tear this little spot here. So, so now you want to squash fold that. And pedal fold this down on the existing creases. And while you're doing that, you open up those two edges. Crease that really good. Flip it over. Crease that good. And you fold it out. Okay. And fold this edge in here. Turn it over and do the same thing to the side. So now you very carefully take this and fold that inside. Yeah. Do the same to the side. To open this out and inside reverse fold that. Get a little tricky. So now you want to take notice of this little edge here. I would suggest you fold just just above it. Fold the wing down. Make sure the rear edges line up. Okay. Fold this up a little bit. <clears throat> Judgment fold. You can just fold it however you however you feel comfortable with it. And you bend this wing down too. You want to fold these wing tips up about the same amount of distance as the keel. So about like that. And the inside reverse fold this tail fin. So what I always like to do, you know, is kind of give a nice little curve to the back of the wings. Kind of like 
like that. And that's it. So you have your air ones, so you can easily adjust them. And it's uh, pretty consistent, so enjoy.